Hello and welcome, my name is the Sloth Gamer, thank you very much for joining me, and welcome to our second helping of the Average Sloth Diary, the life of a crappy average player of Faf. <laughs> there are two matches in today's episodes, I hope you enjoy them. However, I'd just like to take a second to talk about casting. I am interested in casting uh, some replays, so if you would like any of your replays cast by myself, I, I will try not to butcher them. Uh, please contact me through the uh, away list uh, chat in FAF or email me at the sloth gamer at outlook.com. Alright, guys, enjoy! Hello and welcome to today's lobby! We're playing Gap of Rohan. Uh, game quality is 81.5%. It's not the most balanced game, but there were a couple of dudes that were playing together, so this is, this is the best we can do. Let's hope it's a good game. I'm in the lower mid position on the right team, we'll call it team 2. I am Aeon in dark red. Just got to do my usual bits. I've hosted this game. Uh, so my team starting from the top, in top air position we have a 700 rated Dondox dash BX uh, playing as UEF in uh, dark blue. In our upper mid position we have Draconite also sporting UEF in old man grey. And in our bottom air position we have Miko NR9 uh, playing Seraphim in mustardy orange. Who is a 900. My other mid player is going forward, which is always a reassuring sign. Basically, just trying to rush Hydro. Hydro is up, and now all manner of things happen. <laughs> they basically just go forward and get more mixes. And we'll start some manual tree reclaim. My commander is nearly at the front. Engineer to assist them. Something like that will do for now. Oh no. Completely cocked up. What's going on? so bad I've so screwed up my uh, start here guys oh this is painful what are you doing you make that fucking max you two make that one 
How hard is it, really? Why are you going over there? What? Something's wrong. Something's wrong with my brain. So we got a lot of reclaim. My mirror's done nothing but shoot me for all this. And it looks like he's trying to kill me, I guess? I don't know. I guess that's the object of the game! Alright, let's get radar up. by two land factories. So he's not following me in, so I'm not sure what uh, his intentions were through all of that. I was far too busy trying to correct my numerous amount of fuck-ups. Just another day in the life of a sloth. Yeah, so we got units coming in now, so my mirror looks like he's going for a spam. So we'll go to four factories, and we'll get these two. Under yeah. This is crazy! Lost my overcharge. U3 make overcharge.
It's all go. It's all go. I got a feeling that he's just going for a spammer hunters. Okay, looks like things have calmed down slightly for now. You don't see that tactic employed too often. It either gets an early kill or it can usually end up costing the game. Let's get the radar back up here. Yeah. Trying to get a T2 on my com. So, blue is uh, T2 land, so uh, I need to probably pull back a little bit. Red's comm is all the way back in his base, so I'm actually going to try and have a little push here and see if we can take out some of his mexes as reprisal for the death of our mexes. I need a T2 land factory ASAP. Start trying to get some of our mexes capped.
This is this is madness. Uh. So it looks like we're uh we're being out aired as well as out everything else. <laughs> I need to be careful because I haven't built any uh, TMD yet, actually. So we'll queue up some TMD. I am Aeon, so one should be sufficient uh, for now. to start trying to make use of uh, all this reclaim that's uh, being uh, left at my doorstep. Alright, let's get under where these shields meet and try and go T3. Both mid players are UEF, so in terms of experimental, the earliest experimental I can expect would be a fat boy. Um, unless, uh, no, yellow is also. I don't even know who that is anymore. It's Joycey, isn't it? Aeon. So, fat boys, and. So, we need, in terms of defense, uh, T2PD. Uh, not T2PD, T2RT. I'm just going to try and get some scouts over because we haven't done a lot of scouting as yet. So we do have Percival's coming out from Prime, that's obviously the uh, intent of the next push. So T3 land, we need it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're coming in with what they've got.
my neighbour, my co uh, mid is uh, UEF, so hopefully he can get T3. He has T3 and he's got Ravages up. If he starts building across to my side, that will be tremendously helpful. Now they're going for my neighbour. Oh no. Move faster units. Uh, the pressure is is absolutely relentless. This is actually a really fun game. <laughs>
where his base has fallen. And, uh, I've got T3 coming up, but... I looked away and all my harbingers have died. What the fuck happened there? Did he K? Well, I guess that's GG, because he took what little units I had with him. This has been a really fun game. Uh, I've, I've died, we've lost, but GG, that was fun. So they've gone spam the whole way through this. It's been actually very well coordinated um, by Team One. Spam straight from the T1 through to the T3 with, with pretty good air support. I know Blue here and the South Air player on Team One were playing together. Um, but uh, Red seemed to have uh, orchestrated a lot of that. It can work really well, um, spamming on this map, but I think it has to be done in unison by both mid players, and it, it's not it's not a common occurrence for for that to happen, where both players agree to doing it. Especially as gung ho as, as as this has gone down. But looking at Blue's base, he's he's done everything completely reliant off of T one P gens. No one scouted over there for a while, so uh, I don't think Orange. I, I kind of feel like this has really been a three by uh, three versus four. Uh, to the detriment of Team 1, yet they've still managed to overcome it really well. 
So red's going north. Um, this is definitely GG. There's just too much T3 land coming in. They have no air to protect. So while they're dealing all this land spam, yellow is probably just amassing some strats. And at some point it's going to swoop in and, and kill someone if this uh, T3 doesn't get the job done. Yeah, Miko throwing out the GG. This wasn't a particularly balanced game at the start. I did feel it was in Team One's favour, and uh, it's worked out that way, I'd say. Just completely overrun. We had nothing in answer all the way through. So Prime, Ensemble, and Canute, I doth my hats to you, sirs. You've played well. And it looks like Ensemble has the kill of Miko. And now it's a four versus one. It's a foregone conclusion. Very fun, fun match, despite being on the losing side. It doesn't look like Donbox is going to give up without a fight. This is usually where the last standing guy would throw out the GG. But no, Donbox fights to the last. Strat's coming in. He has no air. He has no land units. He is PD, anti-air. How long can he hold out? Look at all the spam coming up towards him. Oh, it's, it's terrible. It's a it's a strong last stand by uh, Don Dox, but it will be to no avail. He's just standing there. I will finish this T3 P Gen before I die. I don't care about the Titans and the Percy's rolling in. More strats coming in, this time from Joycey. Welcome to the game, Joycey. That's the first unit I've seen from you in 29 minutes. Not that your team needed any additional help. So Donbox comes in, he's dead, oh and the GC <laughs> comes in at the end, just to rub a bit of salt into the gaping wounds. Oh, uh, that, that was fun, that went a lot more fun than uh, this map usually plays. So yes, Ensemble survived that entire game on the back of T1 power. Uh, I'm definitely assuming that uh, there was a lot of overflow going from yeah there was so we got three T3 power generators from uh, Canute and Prime had one <laughs> Prime still got more factories queued up <laughs> uh, so it didn't look like it during the game. It, it seemed to me during the game that all the spam was really coming from Prime. Um, but let's look at the number of T3 factories that uh, Ensemble got going there. That's a lot of T3 spam coming out of them. Bad boys. Ensemble's calm just stood here at the top of the map. You'll never find me here hiding in plain sight. Fair enough. And just to kind of make the point of uh, Josie's contribution to the game, and this really was a three versus four, and we still got steamrolled. 
Uh, at minute 29 at the end of the game, Joycey still has one, two, three, four T1 maxes. None of his maxes are capped. So, I'll just reiterate, Ensemble, Prime and Canute. Nice job, guys. Nice job. That was uh, a proper steamroll. I wouldn't, maybe not a steamroll. A half an hour steamroll. It was fun. So let's take a look at uh, at the stats. So in terms of uh, mass, um, ensemble wins, and ensemble almost uh, also got the. Uh, total units of structures and units built during the game. Uh, most kills award goes to Prime, which is interesting really. So Prime's produced uh, quite a few less units than Ensemble, but Prime still manages to pip Ensemble to the most kills. And uh, power generation now, Ensemble, as I said, really low, really uh, depending on uh, the rest of his team's overflow. I enjoyed that. That was good. Um, player of the match. It's a difficult one. Who to give player of the match to? There. I'm gonna. I'm gonna award it to uh, Prime. Uh, Prime gets my uh, player of the match vote. Uh, I feel like that uh, he led his team from the front, uh, and it it worked very well. As soon as he, uh, as soon as he turned around to his comrades and said, "Into the breach, dear friends. This is what we're doing. Let's go. Let's do it." So for that, Prime gets my uh, man of the match. Alright guys, that was fun. I'll catch you in the next one. Hello and welcome to the next lobby. Game quality 91.5% going into this. The map is dual gap. I am sporting the very unfashionable UEF in white. I am playing front spot. I don't mind the spot so much on this map, although I usually get very frustrated when playing it uh, because I always get effed by Navy when I beat my mirror. It just seems to be the law of the map. So dual gap is a 6v6. Uh, starting at the top for our team is Fidella, a 1000 rated, playing Aeon in purple. In the uh, mid upper bit thingy is uh, Ink Whipper, I think. Uh, in blue, playing as Seraphim. And then in the uh, lower forward position is Astro Dodge, rating 900, playing as Master Cybran Race in red. Uh, behind him is Power Llama. So let me get my uh, stuff started. Uh, Power Lama, who is a 700 rated player in orange, playing as Seraphim, and in the bottom air position is uh, Pitch Blendy, Pitch Blend, I don't know, uh, who is a 800, also playing Seraphim. Seraphim in air? How quaint. Maybe he was random. Maybe he was random, and then he started the Seraphim air, and then he was like, for God's sakes, why did I go random? Uh, I'm just adding towards front. Ink Whipper is also doing a com walk, which you don't actually see very often from his spot. He is expected to take the, uh, the upper lane of mid there, but usually it's done by uh, a T1 transport drop with some engineers. Inquipper electing to take a walk. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're going to be uh, having power issues soon, so let's get some T1 P gens queued. Wait, was that an air factory? It was an air factory. No! Incorrect. Wrong. Shows you how often I play UEF. So all our mexes are built and we're upgrading. No 
Nobody wants these rocks in the middle, so I'm more than happy to come along and take them. I need power. And now Ink Whipper's got the uh, transport thing going on. Obviously just wants his uh, commander up there just to make sure that his front line is as sturdy as possible. Like I'm getting scouted a lot. My mirror is uh, slightly forward of my position. He's walked straight to the three maxes at the front where I've elected to uh, just stick up some maxes here and uh, build a little base. Air player doing a drop there to get some of the rocks. That's good. to go and kill a, an engineer. Okay, I guess. Yeah, sounds making it seem quite laggy, but it's not actually too bad. T2 on our main factory. Power, you and me both, buddy. Orange doing me a little bit of a favour there and uh, getting a radar down, although I would prefer it a bit more forward. Air factory up. Uh, one thing that I've learned is it's always best just to scout your own mirror and not rely on your teammates to do it, because your teammates usually invariably suck when you want help from them. looks pretty fucked and I'll be pretty fucked shortly after if I don't get some anti-air up. It's 
not going to be enough. Ink Whipper is going to die. And he is also the highest rated player on our team, I believe, at 1300. And gone. Well, shit. <laughs> wow. Ink Whipper clearly very annoyed at... Uh, at the performance of his teammates there. Can't blame him. Pretty shit job by uh I might die myself. Okay, we're just going to go in there and see if we can't even things up a little bit here. Doesn't look like my mirror's got overcharge. It's not going to work out well for him. Also helps that he's just standing still and taking Artie in the face. He's got help. You lucky bastard. You lucky bastard. Saved by a friggin' teammate. I'm trying to get some uh, cover up top because I can't do everything. Looks like I'm three versus one here.
I was such a cocky bastard. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Why did I say that? Yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks for suiciding yourself on me. Now I'm getting fucked by C! C! Happening again! Win mid, get fucked by Navy. Alright, we need to get to T3, we are behind. Oh, hello, Com. I need to try and get some form of air support because uh, I'm going to get sniped here. Let's go T2. We need to get some Percy's dropped up here if we're going to kill this dude here. So the plan is to get some Percy's out, drop them behind um, Purple's position near his comm, push forward with the T2 tanks, maybe my comm if I feel it's uh, needed. And uh, just try and get the kill before he manages to bring all of his units in. I should probably try and go uh, nano or something just to repair. Oh, I can't go now, no. We could go T3. Alright, so how many Percy's can these hold? Uh, or three T3 units, so three Percy's. So that's six Percy's. Okay, I'll do. Um, 
I'll try and just save up some Janus at the back here. Oh, we've got a spider coming in. Pretty sure uh, he's gonna die off this if uh, that spider is microed. I'm moving my T2 tanks in to take some of the fire off the spider. And it looks like we got him. Get the spider vet off that ship before it dies. Yeah, don't get too cocky, guys. This game is completely still in the balance. So I won't go fucking navy for Christ's sakes. I mean, Jesus. So I'm going to try and just shift into the top lane here, um, see what we can do. We have no anti-nuke. Purple hasn't built one. T3 max upgrades going. And we'll get a T2 radar up. Do that about there. Yeah, we have a scout. It's going to be a nuke soon, it has to be. Alright, 
It's probably too late, but we should uh, try and get this anti new cup. I mean, he has one in his own base. It's really good of him. Really good of him to do that. Yeah, fuck the white guy. Fuck the white guy. He doesn't need anything cover it. Why, why, why would he need an Anthony covering his base? No. Right, so considering he's already made his that, we can just go ahead and plunk ours here. So, So it looks like we've got some uh, navy going now. Thank God for that. Right, Tech 2 NGs need to load it. Tech 3s. Just get the powers up around it and then we're going to have to get some shields going. And judging by that comment, it looks like his SMD is not loaded. And it isn't! And poof! Is that two? Did he get two kills? Has he got two kills? Oh my god! Yes, we got one kill. Astro Dodge. And Millie, uh. Mill and Bell immediately K's after the death of a comrade. And it looks like the game is won. Uh, Black Champion K's. I am Re. Whew! And uh, the total collapse of Team 1 is nearly complete. Uh, looks like they've got one player left who's playing on Old Fagver. Personally, I'm just uh, K dude. Do I need to carry on playing now? We're just going to send a transport forward, get the Percy's that we've got into a transport. Apparently, I lost stuff. Okay, maybe not then. Whatevs. He doesn't have anything. Does he even have OC? Doesn't even look like he has OC. Well, let's just do it then. Oh! Oh! Ha! <laughs> he sent in strats to try and kill Astro Dodge. Making a run for his life for the water.
trying to kill Astro Dodge and by extension kill the spider and he's managed to do it Ooh. now does he K no he's it's like see we could have won this you jerks and now he K's well That was, uh, yeah. I, I don't, uh, I don't think I played particularly well. I don't think I played particularly badly. Um, let's let's take a look at the stats. Astro Dodge gets two kills. I of course get the one kill. My mirror. Um, Old Fagver got the Astro Dodge kill at the end, uh, and Black Champion uh, was credited with the first kill with the uh, ghetto <laughs> with the ghetto gunships. On the highest ranked player, which was uh, Ink uh, Whipper or Wiper, Ink Wiper. So yeah, let's take a look at the charts. It's going to be really difficult to order a, to award a player of the match for this one. Uh, mass income. Uh, Fedella wins that. He also wins the uh, energy. Uh, who got the most kills? Most kills goes to Astro Dodge. That spider was just uh, with all the T1 units were not K'd that it came into contact with. It got so many T1 unit kills. I I might actually watch the replay and see if it got fully that. But yeah, so that spider got Astro Dodge the most kills, and then uh, finally uh, most stuff built went to. Uh, snibat in snab sorry if I butchered that buddy but uh, seriously get a name that people can read uh, so yeah I think we're gonna we're gonna respect the charts I think and no no I can't I can't do it we wouldn't have won that game without the spider because the spider just uh, came in and wrecked everyone so I have to award uh, Astro Dodge the player of the match for this um, purely on the tactical use of the spider and uh, the timing of which it got up and uh, had an effect on the game. Astro Dodge, good job buddy. Uh, okay guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want me to cast any of your games, uh, please uh, make sure that the uh, replays are not desynced before you contact me. And then either get hold of me through uh, the Oalish uh, chat in uh, FAF or free, uh, feel free to email me with the replay ID at uh, the sloth gamer out at outlook.co.uk or it might be .com. I'm not sure. It's in the description. I put it in the description anyway. Okay, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.